what do you try to do to add here? You got to you got to work with your quarterbacks. I mean, you uh, you love Deshaun Watson, you love Anthony Richardson. You can only hope that Russell Wilson back bounces back. You kind of need to see a little so you might need to see something out of Ritter or a, find a Falcons fan. Mm-hmm. Find a, find if there's a team in your league that is so desperate for a quarterback, Ritter's a starter and I'll take him. You know, I'm not saying give Ritter away, but like that's a quick and easy way to make somebody want to make a deal with you. And Superflex, if you got a quarterback that's starting, that I you'll trade me. You will trade me a guy who's starting. If if Ritter's terrible, he's projected to get 16 points. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? If Ritter, if Ritter's terrible, he's got a little bit of a legs underneath him. If he's getting 15 points a week, you already got three flex spots to fill. Show me the team that can have a good starter and a fourth flex that's not a quarterback right you know so if you got Ritter if you got Ritter to starting which he is you got to find a guy with the worst quarterback situation in the league you can talk to him obviously he may not be buying in on a Mike Evans because he's got a bad quarterback situation but he might have a good everything else situation Um, so I'll be trying to make a move with I'd be trying to move Ritter adding Mike Evans to any deal to get anything from him for him but he also may be because you got to have three flexes he may be you know and your wide receiver depth isn't fantastic you know maybe if you can't get enough for him maybe you just hold on to him because he is a good bet for a touchdown any week mm-hmm. as good a bet in the league as yeah as, as anybody without a top-end quarterback you know yeah i don't i don't know how much i'm how much you're getting for a mike evans so he might just not be much on, on your squad you know i i think you know, you got two firsts and two twos. You're in, you're in an area where you can buy the devalued, you know, older wide receivers. You can like Keenan Allen for this team is somebody that you know it would be a target for me, kind of cheap. Tyler Lockett even cheaper uh, could be a nice little target for your team. You just need a little bit more depth. Yeah, I wouldn't be given. I wouldn't be um, given a first round pick. No, away. no, no, no. I'm just saying you you, you know you have the uh, ability, and you know I'm not scared to buy Aaron Jones. I'm not scared to buy Joe Mixon. I'm not scared to buy those guys because I'm 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 ready to win. Uh, you know, right now. I, you know, ideally, you want your cake and eat it too. So, you know, could I buy Miles Sanders? Uh, could I buy you know a, a, a cheaper, uh, better running back? Because your running back depth isn't isn't super great. I mean, you got Herbert uh, down here and AJ Dillon. Um, yeah, I mean, that's a good point. I could I could give you the you got a you got two two, so you send a two and two threes, the three next year, the three you got this year and the three next year for Miles Sanders and see what happens. Right. You know? Which probably isn't getting it done, but I mean it might. You know, you, you never know. I mean but you but, gotta you gotta start you might as well send a two threes before you send a two twos. Right. But you know, you could move down to Aaron Jones. They're they're right now in R A D P. Uh, you know, Aaron Jones is nine one, Miles Sanders is seven four. So yeah. you're getting a good a little bit cheaper there, Aaron Jones, um, you know, and, and you don't feel as bad about buying him, you know, as well as wide receiver wise. Like, you know, I, I'm not scared to buy Calvin Ridley, maybe necessarily on sure. this team. Well, you know, you have you have options to go buy using a first and something else potentially or just the first. I think you need to add a running back or two and you need to add a wide receiver or two. And now how, how you do that, I think quarterback is a good way to go about that i think depleting some of these picks you know maybe you hang on to one of the first but you know maybe maybe you do get rid of those twos and the three and the and the uh and one of the first and and you try to figure out how you can you know you have he has Devonte adams on this team right yes um and i'm you know i'm not terribly worried about him this year i think he's going to be just fine i mean uh, is Derek carr that much different than jimmy garoppolo probably not yeah um you know you could buy amari cooper for this team you know sure. i'm not scared he's perennially you know undervalued as far as his points that he scores um you know mari cooper's a good name because uh to put on this team it is a good good name to throw out there because he's going to be pretty cheap and he's going to give you a lot of production for what you're paying i would have no problem trying to keep both first as long as i could uh, you can't win a championship in the pre in the middle of the season anyway Right. You know, you don't need to do that necessarily now, per se, because the biggest thing is, I mean, if you get close enough to your trade deadline or what have you, however your lead works, you can always make a move and and you have you'll let the the, the league develop as far as, hey, this person right here, this team was, you know, he, he won it two years ago. He was holding on. But now he's, you know, he's three spots off the bottom and he's he's going to do a fire sale. You know, and that Aaron Jones is way cheaper in week seven than he was in week one. 
mm-hmm. you know, something like that. I'd, I'd let the league develop if I was this team. I'd let it play out a minute. I mean, as far as adding, I mean, you got A.J. Dillon and you got Herbert who would need an injury maybe potentially to really be weekly uh, startable in that three-headed monster backfield that they have. But they do project to have a decent running game because of, you know, defense has got to chase around Justin Fields. And you got Brian Robinson who, if things break right, one of those running backs could be in your starting lineup soon. Mm-hmm. Uh, if things break the wrong way, all three can stay on your bench all year. That's how fantasy works. We play the game because you can't get it right ever. Yeah. Um, I want to bring in, you know, you're a, a Monra St. Browns if I'm spending those picks. I want to bring in – I am I can spend the twos and the threes and buy up Amari Coopers and I could, you know, try to find like one person – the owner in your – the guy that, that has Keenan Allen in your league may just not get rid of him unless you overpay. That's fine. But – if you find another, t- if you find a team where Keenan Allen is on it and this team sucks, you may get him for a deal. Like Jay Wayne got Keenan Allen a couple years ago for a second round pick from a team that sucked. You know, it it, it can happen. So you just got to play the market, I think, and and strategically. I would have no problem moving those first round picks, but it's not going to be for um, even a package of aging veterans. They, they, the 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 asset, the value is just depleting so fast. Yeah, I mean, I, I agreed. You, you, mainly you, you because can't, you can't, you just can't. Mainly you, because rookie fever comes back around. You can't diminish. You can't diminish and deplete your your roster though to try to get the. You already are. We're already talking about trying to add a little bit of depth uh, in those positions. So like, I'm in Ross St. Brown. You're not. You're probably not getting them for for even if you traded those two first. You're probably not getting them. So, you know, what else are you going to, you know. Two, but you got a court. Russell two, Wilson starts playing well. Sure. I mean, now, you, could, you could package up those things and get him. I give you a quarterback. Um, and I get Russell Wilson's playing good. You got one quarterback. You need another. You got a couple of wide receivers. I, just, I don't think at any rate you, you, you wouldn't trade a first round pick for any of those older guys I mentioned ever. You would never do that. That's well, not I've, what I'm no, saying. No, but you, I'm, you, I feel like I have to say that because I see it. Right. I see it gets. I've seen. Um, a package deal that revolved around Tyler Lockett for a first. That's why when you said Tyler Lockett earlier, I was like, well, I'm not giving up. I just need the people that's listening to us right now. You think uh, you don't think I need to say that because yeah. you don't do that. Right. Because you're decent at it. <laughs> yeah. Highly above average, right? 99.99% of the men walking around and women that play fantasy football cannot mess with you with your fantasy football knowledge. I see packages all the time between the FFPC or the sleeper league, I see something come up and I'm like, why in the world is that first round pick in there? You got Tyler Lockett and you know, Khalil now, Herbert. If you, and if a you want to deal and, and, a, and two threes back and you gave up your first, like, what are you doing? So like whoever's listening to us, if I, you want to throw a sounds, single first out, you, you go you, and see if you can get Tyree kill from somebody, you know, I'm fine with on that team. If you want to give one of those firsts away for Tyree kill, I have no problem with that. Yeah, you know, me too. If if or Stefan Diggs, if you want to get one of those guys, I'm not giving a first for Stefan Diggs. I don't. It's fine. I mean, I, Diggs, I couldn't get. You can't. If you you might not know that until you have him. Like that's a pr- pr- prime example of startup value versus rookie draft or rookie pick value. If you have Stefan Diggs and you're trying to trade him away, well, you, you can't so get you're not more. you're not trading away. Like he's he you're acquiring to win, and now you're going to play two years with Stefan Diggs, and what? Hopefully, I win one of those years, and and the first was worth it to me. Oh, like if you win the melt, if you win right, the money, that's but what that's what we're trying to do. That's I what we're it. doing. You know, guys, I would approach uh, before the season that are cheaper would be Cortland Sutton, Elijah Moore, and Juju Smith Schuster would be cheaper guys before the season. Before the cap potentially could get out of the bag with those guys, Sutton I, I like a lot. Uh, Sean Payton's, you know, usually, you know, and I like Judy too. I would buy Judy before the, I would buy either one of the the Broncos receivers. I think both of them will be fine. Sure. I mean, obviously, we're paying more for Judy than Sutton for sure. Okay. Um, I would give you a, one of those first for Judy all day long. Um, you know, that, that's a fifth round startup pick right now. Um, I would too if you didn't know the league and i mean if you're saying hey that's uh that's casey's pick and casey's team stinks and right. i got that's straight that's well, that's you, caleb williams yeah. or marvin harrison yeah, jr yeah, yeah. I'm, well you, I'm, you gotta you know. know that you're, you're okay. not gonna give up the the one one uh you know sutton elijah moore you know the, the, these are all guys with those twos that i would go after juju you know, I think he could easily lead that pay, lead that Patriots team. Uh, you get Juju targets. for a three, though. Uh, yeah, I don't know if, if anybody um, will give you to him for a three, but you could try those two threes that you got and try it. But I don't, you know, I think he's probably got to do a two. Uh, I, said, I think. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm probably, I'm not giving a two for Juju. 
I'll give you a two for Juju, especially, you know, whatever. It's a two. I got Juju right now. I'll send you Juju. I'll, we'll make a trade live. Which, which? Easton Superflex. Oh, I see. That, I don't need Juju in an Easton Superflex. Uh, okay. I got literally. Well, I, if, he's, if he's so two worthy, you, <laughs> could tear, you could flip him. I don't. I, he's trying to win. That's the difference here. Like I'm trying to win <laughs> and I and he needs wide receiver depth. I'm trying to win. I have every fucking wide receiver that's <laughs> that's really good and the second year wide receivers who are all really good. You do have a lot of wide of receivers in that league. So I'm good. I don't need to buy Juju okay, in that fair league. Enough, I got I got a, a whole bench full of starting wide receivers. He does not. The the idea that's the also a difference of like Hey, yeah, no, every team I wouldn't give a two. For this particular position here, I'd give a two. Just it'd give me depth. It'd make me not have to sweat out, you know, Mike Evans every week if if I didn't want to. Or if, you know, if Drake and Ritter aren't figuring it out, maybe Elijah Moore uh, can can give me a little boost. Those are dart throws who, you you know, you can get them for a two because people, not everybody's on board and and they're a little worried about them. I mean, yeah, I think, I mean, I'd have to, I'd have to start seeing Juju steam to give up that two. And I still think you'd get it if he was playing well. Yeah. So I, you know, I don't, I don't know if, if you would, I just think we're just going to see a much better Mac Jones. I hope so. Better you know offense i mean um you know i mean jacoby myers was so startable every single week last week and juju's an upgrade on jacoby myers um he just he was in the PPR role floor, floor was sure. outrageous um as long as juju's healthy you know christian kirk would be another one uh i would be fine with sending any of those twos for like i said keenan allen in the older um in the older realm you know and then some some running backs would be like aaron jones I mean, take a take a shot on on James Conner for a two for cheap. Um, he he should have a lot of volume. And I I know nobody really likes Madison right now, but maybe somebody wants to get rid of Madison for a two and some change. Uh, you know, you have you got some stuff on your practice squad that maybe you could you know trade away for Madison. Um, yeah, you know, I, I, I know change. nobody likes madison right now but i mean there's a chance that that he's their guy for the whole damn season um and you know if we all had the answers the rankings would be absolute right the, you know we don't have all the answers we don't have and, half the answers and if you know it's if i was on a different team i'd be trading away madison the like you could you could probably get it too and if if for for madison potentially and if if oh, you could get a two for Madison easy. If he's their starting running back for the whole year, he's going to well outperform that two that you gave him. Completely you, you agree. Know? So th- those would be the kind of guys that I'd, I'd be targeting. I, you know, I agree with you. If you want to go heavy and hard and take two of those twos and go up and try to figure out how to get the St. Browns of the world and, you know. Or, two of those ones, you mean? Not- yeah, two of those ones and, 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 a, and a Ritter or something. You know, obviously, Ritter's probably not going to get it done. Um, but, you know, or, you know, you got Gibbs, so. You know, I would I would be targeting like a Josh Jacobs, if if you could get at any discount on on the Jacobs right now, you could also buy Eckler from a from a team that's you know you, your running back is is okay, but your depth isn't great, and the starters that you have, you got to come to terms with Kenny Walker's basically a a, w, a RB two yeah uh, now and Gibbs yeah. we're unsure. You know we th- you know I think most weeks he'll probably end up being an RB two, and then he'll have those weeks where he was dynamite and he was an RB one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, for you know, that team, you could go get. I, my biggest guy right now, like I've, you know, just heard your podcast about guys, Nick Chubb, like yeah. what, what can you get him for? And it, it's going to be completely different in every league. And, you know, first and a second for Chubb. Probably. Yeah. I mean, you have to, you, yeah, you probably give that, but again, it would just have to be, I'm not giving the high end first. It's, I'm not it's got, easier to talk in picks. Obviously you can is. see what combinations it's of e- guys you can make this work with. And, and, right. and, Russell is in your category of trades and you know we we there was some other guys in this this team specifically speaking to be able to say hey I'll give you Russell Wilson and Desmond Ritter Mm -hmm. like not many teams can even offer you two starters right and then you give those two guys up and you still got Kyler Murray as your third you know and and Gardner Minshew backing up Richardson if he got hurt get Tannehill back you know maybe (laughs) No, nothing wrong with trying maybe you can get trey lance nobody yep. wants him all right you got anything else on this team before we wrap it up no i mean you could take you could take your deshaun watson and add a first and try to get patrick mahomes if you know if you want to just go and cement your weekly upside and and dynasty equity long-term value kind of thing um just you know we didn't really go get into that part 
Um, he, this, this is a mix of youth and veteran. He's got, um, obviously, you know, take Mike Evans out of it, but he's got Devonte Adams sitting here. Deshaun Watson is not old by any means, but you know, he's not brand new. He's got De- Russell Wilson, but Anthony Richardson, super young, Friar Moose, super young, Drake, young, London, super young, Kyle Pitts, Devonta Smith, super young, Jamar Gibbs, brand new, Kenneth Walker, but you know, so that's what I meant. Like you are a, cont- you are a contender, you're a contender. Seller. But you're also not a contender full of old people, right? Uh, you know, so it's not you don't have a team full of Chubbs and Saquon Barkleys that you're like, hey, if you don't win this year, you're effed, right? You know, so like that's what I meant by like, hey, I got no problem letting this thing develop right here on this team, and then having those ones halfway through the season, and you're like, well, actually, those two first rounds were supposed to be late, but it looks like they're going to be mid first rounds because those teams aren't performing as yeah. well, you know, and all yeah. of a sudden, you know, yeah. so it's just like let it, let it, let it, let it play out a little bit on this. T- you got bit. You know, if Russell Wilson comes back and he's ball, he's balling, you maybe you stock up. You know, trade him, trade Desmond Ritter. You know, maybe odds are Desmond Ritter is not going to be awesome. Just because I say that about every quarterback that's not like earth shattering coming out of college. Mm-hmm. Odds are they 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 all suck until they don't. Mm-hmm. That's just my that's just the way I'm playing it. They all suck until they don't, um, and most of the time. I'm right because they almost all suck. <laughs> <laughs> and then you find that we think of, I mean, it's the hardest job on the planet. There's only 32 of them and ha- a handful of the teams would gladly throw theirs out if they could, you know? So yeah. you're talking about there's 20 good ones on the planet. Odds are Ritter is not going to be starting next year. Right. So if you can get something decent for him or he makes a package happen and you're like, Hey, I want to do this. I want to do that. I can't do that. I'll give you Ritter too. Okay. Yeah. All right. Done. Right. And if he's good, if he turns into some awesome player, then, you know, whatever. That's Dynasty. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, let's wrap this one up. Um, We appreciate y'all. I got to find the uh, exit music here. Uh, We'll hit you. you Be sure to like, subscribe, comment below, all that jazz if you enjoyed the show. Uh, so you can get this right to your little fingertips. If you would like to give us a five-star review, we would very much appreciate that. We really, really uh, appreciate you guys for tuning in every week. We got a Patreon. We got $5 Holler over there. Uh, these were Patreon teams that we're talking about. Uh, we'll, we got extra episodes over there every week. We got um, some other breakdowns. Uh, we got rankings uh, that are getting close to being posted over there. We're going to have extra ranking shows uh, over on the Patreon side of things. Uh, and then, you know, we, we, we do three extra episodes a month uh, over on the Patreon. So uh, we appreciate you guys. If you've been messing with us for a while, um, you know, stop by, you know, quit being a cheapskate. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but for real, we appreciate you. Uh, Big Co, good to see you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and uh, we'll Enjoyed catch you next it. time. Peace.